Hey guys, Cyclomania back again for another update. I got some really good news and a couple new things to add to the saltwater system. Uh, let me do a quick overview on the, the freshwater cichlids. Um, went ahead and traded uh, uh, a few uh, cichlids and a peacock uh, for my new fox face tang, um, which hands down is probably one of my favorite fish and the whole saltwater uh, part of it. But uh, I got them acclimating right now. Um, I went ahead and got them from Oasis Tropical Fish. And uh, here, I'll try. There he is. Right now he's showing a little bit of blotchy color. I guess uh, the owner of Oasis told me that they do this when they're sleeping or uh, when they uh, get scared or whatever. So he's uh, showing some blotchiness right now. But uh, I guess for the next two weeks they're going to be pretty shy and uh, by then he'll probably be eaten out of my hands. But uh, I am super stoked to uh, get him in there. I got him on a drip acclimation. I'm sitting at about 25 minutes right now. And uh, shortly after this video, I'll go ahead and put him in the system. Um, I went and did some fragging at one of my tanks. Uh, I got a piece of Kenya tree in here. I actually got two pieces of Kenya tree. Uh, I got a frog spawn right there. I bought this from Oasis a little over a year ago, and it's just been in some really bad water quality this whole time. And uh, it actually has split into two, and right now it's closed. But I'll get a better shot of that tomorrow when it's open. Um, my mom went to Tahiti, and I don't know if you guys, how long you guys been watching my channel, but uh, back when I had a 10-gallon Nano, it was one of the first rocks I ever put in my 10-gallon uh, a little over a year ago. It's been in salt water this whole time, and I just brought it home, and uh, it turned out gorgeous. Uh, it might look black to you guys, but uh, it is a deep, dark purple. There's some coralline on there. I got, an, uh, I got an elephant ear on there, and uh, where did that other... Where is that other coral that I had on here? I just got a couple mushrooms on here. Oh, there it is. Right there. Nothing special, but I wanted to bring it back home. And, uh, basically... Get it in here. So I'll put that guy back. Uh, frag rocks still holding up. I, I was, uh not concerned or anything but I just wanted to make sure it wouldn't float away or anything without that rock in the center it tends to float which you could easily fix that by probably putting caps on the bottom of this and filling each leg up with uh, you know a half a cup of sand but uh, that's all I got on my video I'm just gonna shoot a quick one real quick and then uh, what I'll do is I'll post the video after I add the fox face tang in there um, Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, I got a lot of new growth on the algae down here. It's got a bunch of new green tips, and uh, stuff is really starting to take off. So that's a good sign. Skimmer still still hasn't skimmed as much as I thought it would, but then again, my water is pretty clean. So uh, once I start feeding mysa shrimp and brine shrimp in here, I'll probably uh, start getting a uh, a load going but all that algae growing it's pretty much taking all that away uh hey i'm gonna give a shout out to ben border 09 he just sent me a message today uh he's the guy that's up in new hampshire um i don't know if you guys are familiar with uh nh frag swap which stands for new hampshire frag swap dot com uh check it out i joined that forum it's a really cool forum um the guys down there are real nice uh they're real informative and uh, you know there's a lot of sweet deals on that site check it out um, anyways Ben Border 09 from YouTube he's uh, shipping out his first shipment of corals to me that he's donated to me for free which I think is just awesome uh, I want to say thanks again 
So those will be showing up uh, probably sometime next week or the or that that week after, and we'll go ahead and uh, by then I'll have uh, two new metal halides in here, and this uh, whole rack will be ready for uh, coral growing, and uh, shortly after that we will be ready to start uh, fragging huge mother colonies. I got a couple cor corals I got to buy from Trent. I don't know if you guys watched that video. Uh, Trent's uh, 101 or 120 gallon SPS tank. Um, buying some corals off of him uh, that I just couldn't pass up. But uh, long story short, um, I look forward to posting many more videos of my farm and uh, hopefully I can get out there and start uh, shipping corals. Uh, all across America, I gotta figure out how to ship these for cheap. Uh, I don't know how anybody does it for $25. Um, I've been trying to sell fish for a long time, and I haven't done much research. But uh, calling the U.S. Postal Service and FedEx and UPS, you know, I'm getting quoted that $25 to ship two hours from here. So I'm not sure if shippers are just eating the cost or or something that I'm not understanding. There's an airport here, and I'm not sure, but from what I've heard, you can ship 40 cents a pound up to 100 pounds. So maybe I got to do air freight, but that's not going to go to their house. So um, I'll just have to figure out something. But uh, I live in Redmond, Oregon, so if anybody has any ideas for where I live, let me know. Um, take care, guys. I'll be shooting another video about the uh, fox face being introduced into the system, and we'll see how he takes it. See you guys.